Hey everyone, Dave here. If you're using Microsoft Teams and are struggling with the noise suppression about people hearing your background noise, here's one way that you can fix this problem. Recently, Microsoft updated the Microsoft Teams application to give it a new look and style. On the previous version, you were able to adjust your noise suppression from low, medium to high. If you navigate to your settings on the new Microsoft Teams app, you'll click on the Devices tab. Here's where you'll be able to change which devices you're using, such as your headset or microphone that you're using. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that there is now just a toggle switch on or off for noise suppression. Now this feature is just either on or off with no adjustments. What this feature does, no matter if you're using uh, AirPods or a high powered headset, it's going to filter out your voice and what's going on around you to filter out any unwanted noise like people talking or dogs barking so you can have better conversations on your Microsoft Teams calls. Here, have a listen to how these AirPods, which don't have a very good noise canceling microphone, sounds like with and without the noise suppression on Microsoft Teams. All right, now this is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background. This is with no noise suppression turned on on the Microsoft Teams software. This is what it sounds like on AirPods with typing going on. And this is what it sounds like with the noise suppression turned on with the AirPods. This is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background. Now this is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. This is what it sounds like with barking dogs. And this is what it sounds like with the noise suppression on with barking dogs going on in the background. This is what it's going to sound like with barking dogs. And this is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background. This is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background. And this is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background with the noise suppression turned on. This is what it's going to sound like with crying babies going on in the background. All right, so now this is what it sounds like with my kids talking in the background here. So you can get an idea with the noise suppression turned off. This is what it sounds like with my kids in the background here. Now this is with noise suppression turned on with my kids talking in the background, which is quite distracting. And this is what it sounds like with noise suppression turned on. What did you think of the microphone performance with the noise suppression? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. What feedback we're hearing from customers is that the noise suppression isn't enough to block the background noises they're trying to block out, such as other people in the background talking or dogs barking. And if you're struggling with this noise, first you're gonna want to double check and make sure that you have noise suppression turned on Otherwise, of course, you're not going to have noise suppression. If you've checked and noise suppression is turned on, but it's still not blocking out enough background noise, then you're gonna to wanna to use a noise canceling software like Neep, which uses AI to remove unwanted background noise from your environment. The biggest difficulty with noise suppression in general is typically has to do with human voices, no matter if it's a headset, Microsoft Teams, or software. How does the uh, device know that your voice it should allow versus somebody sitting right next to you's voice? Well, with Neap Noise Canceling uh, software, you can actually register your voice so the AI knows your voice frequencies and patterns to allow your voice to go through the microphone while blocking out all the other human voices going on around you to provide a better overall noise canceling experience when it comes to human voices.
To register your voice on Neep is super simple. As long as you select the microphone that you're using, and in this example, I'm using AirPods, which I highly don't recommend, especially if you're in an open office or call center environment, I'd recommend a headset with a microphone boom. But regardless, you will select the AirPods as your microphone, then you'll click on register new profile and read the prompt so that the AI can more easily identify your voice. Lastly, on the Neep app, you will select the checkbox next to Enhance Background Noise Cancellation. This is going to give you the highest level of noise cancellation for human voices, which is especially useful if you're in an open office or call center. Have a listen to how the microphone sounds with and without Neep. Now, this is what it sounds like with AirPods and Neep turned off. This is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background. Now this is what it sounds like with Neep turned on and typing going on in the background. This is what it sounds like with typing going on in the background. And this is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background with Neep off. This is what it sounds like. Now this is what it sounds like with barking dogs and Neep turned on. This is what it sounds like with barking dogs going on in the background. This is what it sounds like. And this is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background with Neep off. This is what it sounds like with crying babies. And this is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background with Neep noise canceling software turned on. This is what it sounds like with crying babies going on in the background. Now this is what it sounds like with my kids talking in the background. So you can hear what it sounds like with me off. This is what it sounds like with my kids talking in the background. All right, so now this is what it sounds like with me turned on. Background here. This is what it sounds like with me turned on. Setting up Neep is simple. You go to neep.com and sign up for a free account. Then you will download the Windows or Mac application and select which microphone or headset you want to use in the app. Then on Microsoft Teams app or any other app for that matter, you are going to select where it says Neep microphone. This way, all the AI noise canceling process can be done with the Neep application and it's that simple. Bottom line is if you need more noise cancellation, whether you use Microsoft Teams or any app for that matter, give Neap noise canceling software a try so that you can experience the results for yourself. That's all I got for you on this video. If you wanna learn about the five best headsets that we recommend for Microsoft Teams, check out this video or right up here, we break down each option we recommend right now. That's all I got for you on this video. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you on the next one.